Hi guys, this is Drew, the SDSU EE Tutor, and in this video, I'm going to expand upon what I said in the last lesson by giving an actual example of working with variables and seeing where they get stored in memory. Now, understanding how memory works and where things get stored in the computer is going to be ridiculously helpful uh, for you as a programmer in the long run, especially once you start working with strings and arrays. So let's get started. So let's take a look at our program. We create three variables, x, y, and sum, and they're all of type int, right? meaning that all of these variables are four bytes. Then we set sum equal to x plus y, and then we'll print that to the screen. So if you look on the right side, see this box called memory? you can see exactly where your variables are being stored in memory at what address. If you look up here, it's asking for the address. Right? And we have ampersand sum. This ampersand is called the address of operator. So because we don't know the address uh, of where sum is, we can say the address should be equal to the address of sum. All right, and then it pulls up all of this, right? What is this? Well, on the left side, where the colons are, this tells you the address. This is 28FF14, and then this is 0. Okay, and then the next byte, this is 28FF141, and this is 2, 3, and so on and so forth. Once you get to the last one, you'll hit number 15, and 16 rolls over to the next line, so it'll be 28FF24 instead of 14. Okay, so let's step through this. First off, notice that all the variables that we are creating and working with are of type int. Right? That means that they should be 4 bytes. And if we're looking at memory, this is in hexadecimal. Okay, so every two numbers is one byte. Right, so if we had 4 and 8, then the 4 really means that this is 0, 1, 0, 0, and the 8 is 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay, so this is 8 bits, which means that it is 1 byte. So every two characters are 1 byte. Okay, now when I hit the next line button, Keep your eyes on these four. All right, so my cursor is pointing to int x equals 5, and when I click the button, it will execute that. So notice these four change to 0, 0, 0, 5. If I do it again, right, we saw these changed. 0, 0, 0, A. Okay, A is 10 in hexadecimal. So this is where X is, and this is where Y is. Next, we create sum, and sum should go right here. Now we'll say sum is equal to X plus Y. Right, notice sum changed again, 0, 0, 0, F. So the main point I'm trying to drive home in this video is when you create variables, whether they be shorts, ints, or chars, or what have you, when you create that variable, the computer says, okay, this is a type int, so I'm going to need four bytes to represent this. So it will allocate four memory addresses to hold your information. Right? And what is memory? Memory is just a never-ending line of boxes that hold your information. And each box has its own ID number or address. We can access the information via the name of the variable or if we know what address it is, we can access it by using the address. It's not a very difficult concept, but it's something that 
will definitely hinder your programming skills if you don't understand this concept. And I promise you it will become increasingly important as you get deeper and deeper into coding. So thanks guys and that's all I've got.